think we are going to get a bit wet here. Yeah, we're just going to let it drain onto the floor. Right, we ready? I <laughs> like getting into a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go. One of the biggest problems we're finding at the moment is lead times for materials. So even if we order things months and months in advance, sometimes all of a sudden we get a notification that it's extended a little bit and that can put a spanner in the works. So we've got a client that's got an ongoing project. We're fitting a ground source for them and that ground source is taking a little bit longer than we'd hoped and the client really needs to get the heat on. They need to get the screed drying process going so that that can settle and they can continue with their project. And ordinarily we've got a uh, electric boiler on a jig that we set up for that. That's going to be used on another project that we'll probably see in another video. So thinking outside the box, what else can we do? We can't get them an air source from a normal merchant. So we've got one of our own. So this is our Aerotherm Plus. We use it to heat our office. It's August at the moment. We're not using it for heat and our hot water is done by our solar thermal. So we think we're just going to take this, go and fit it in the customer's house. We'll put some controls on it. We'll put a wiring center on it. We'll plumb it in temporarily and we'll give them that heat that they need. Yeah, I've had worse mornings. Yeah. Look at that. It's also muddy, isn't it? So today, I'm normally behind the camera, but uh, I've been roped in to help carry this heat pump on a very, very muddy site. Did most of that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, oh, I was just guiding, I was just like, I'm not even actually carrying this. You've got me, producer Harrison, today. Uh, Liam is obviously on this site with uh, uh, Keith. Keith is a, uh, a, a certified heat geek, he runs his own low carbon heating installation company. And uh, the reason you've got me is because we've only got a very short amount of time to get this heat pump actually installed. Not forgetting the fact that the house that we're at has no signal, it's in the completely in the middle of, the no of nowhere, and it took us hours to actually find the place. They are 35. I think they are. They are, aren't they? Yeah, f***ing huge. Let me check the band, but I'm, I'm almost certain <laughs> I don't have any 35. Because I'm still going to need a coupling. You're going to need a coupling and a reducer. reducer. We've only 35 mil couplings, but in, in uh, compression. It seems like, uh, after travelling all this way, that the uh, uh, distributors have sent the wrong part out. They've sent a, a 35 millimetre part instead of a 28 millimetre part. Um, so currently he's fighting around plumbers merchants around the area to try and find something. Obviously we're under time pressure on this job, so fingers crossed we can get something uh, soon. Yeah, I just need two 5 mil couplers and I can still reduce it straight into it. Would be Yeah, that'd be perfect if you got it. Where are they? Uh, it's about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, so it's going to be an hour and a half round trip. It's not like it's not 12 o'clock already and there's loads to do. Hope you brought your sleeping bag. If, if Matt stayed here and I just went and got it, um, would that speed things up? It would help, but yeah, it probably would help, wouldn't it? Because we can push that back and wire it, can't we? It's a lovely area, but there's nothing around, so. Um, so Harrison's gone to go get us some fittings to reduce that down to 28 mil, so we can get onto the pipe which just come through the wall now. Unique plumbing supplies in Romsey, just north of Southampton. that you now you don't have the power cables as well yeah so i think the electrician was meant to put it all in for us 
Right. Um, obviously, there's been a bit, bit of miscommunication. Oh, man. Um, what there's, a no, bit, there's, no, there's no power cable here, so yeah, I've got to go and grab, run out and go. Uh, it's got to be a specific power cable, so I've got to have to go and run out and get it. Yeah, now I should just crack on and get this inside bit yeah, done. Yeah, I like, uh, it's mental. Um, it's in the opposite direction to where what it's going as well, so it's not going to, yeah, it's in the opposite direction. Yeah. We'll have to go get some more cable now, so, yeah, it's going all right. It'll be fine. Here we go. Oh man, all of that is just these little fittings. Parts finally arrived, thanks to uh, Uber service going on over there. Still for three and a half kilowatts, still heavy. Every heat pump uses different. Um, There's a rubbish box on the go there, Liam, if you want to throw some stuff in it. Wookie, okay, cheers, mate. Different head screws. So, like one, some of them are Torx, some of them are Phillips, some of them are Posi. Well, yeah. Nebis it is. Yeah. Yeah. The Valence really good. They're all the same size. But... Yeah, they, to be fair, all the heat pumps I worked on, Valence good. These mum was right. <laughs> What's quite good at the moment as well is where like heat pumps are kicked off massively recently is a lot of the manufacturers are trying to like get one step ahead of each other. So there's a lot of like competition. So on our end, it's just getting better. Like, because I think these men are trying to change their systems. He's actually dead. What's the way in there? Yeah. Is there power to the manifolds? Okay. Oh, sh so there's two eight port manifolds. Yeah. Uh, obviously, with no power, with zone valves and pumps. Yeah, let's open the zone valves and just see what flow we get. See what we get. Worst yeah. case, I have one exception to at least one of them far end. Should have enough power, I guess, to get it through there a bit. Did you, have you got a spare plug? Yeah, I'll go have a good look. If not, we'll have to sacrifice the Hoover. Oh, do you know what? I don't think I can. This is already hard work, so I can't kill that. I don't know what I can even kill. I have to kill someone else's Henry. Yeah, what's this here? Extension lead. Yeah. <laughs> With this house, the, the manifolds have um, zone valves and pumps on them, but there's no power inside. So what we're going to have to do is just manually open the zone valves and run it off the heat pump pump. Um, if we don't get enough flow around, what we have to do is try and run some fly leads into power, them, but fingers crossed it'll be okay. So we're currently filling up the cylinder. Uh, but we've got a slight leak just on this here, so we'll just nip that up. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, we're all right. Uh, so fill up cylinder and then we'll ride the immersion in so the customer's got hot water. Um, and we're just filling up the heating as well, so nearly there. So that's it for this job in Romsey uh, in Hampshire. The heat pump is now up and running. We've got a long journey back. Uh, Liam is just finishing off a couple of things. A big thank you to Keith for uh, helping out on this job and letting us film him as well. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure you like the video and subscribe as well, because we're always out on sites like this, filming these sorts of heat pump installs, getting down uh, dirty in the mud with the team. So that's it for today. We're off to the pub. Cheers. Cheers.